look at its Find Symbol tool window, works best when there's a project and workspace set up. If you have not done that yet, you may want to watch the video, How to Create a Project or Single File Projects. Let's dock the Find Symbol tool window at the bottom of the editor by right-clicking on one of the tool windows already docked there and selecting Find Symbol from the menu. The Find Symbol tool window uses the context tagging database to find the symbol you are looking for. It will work with global and local variables. It will list and filter members as well. You can double click or press enter to jump to a symbol and press control comma to jump back. There's now an option to search for a symbol based on the package and class name and the symbol rather than just the symbol. There's also pattern matching, including three kinds of regular expressions, simple wildcard matching, and subword pattern matching. Let's use subword pattern matching in combination with match substring. Note the matches that do not have get width as a prefix or get width as a contiguous string in the name. Also, there are now separate columns for the symbol and the package or class name. Since match package or class name is on, let's put a class name in front of our current example. You can see that this filtered the list down considerably. You can also choose what kind of symbols to view. For example, we can choose to view only functions. Download your free trial today. Go to www.slickedit.com trial.